Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today we are renovating an apartment. Uh, we're renovating this particular apartment from San Myshuno. It is called 702 Zen View, and it's one of my favorites. It's one of my go-tos. I've renovated this a couple of times, um, but we are back today, <laughs> renovating it yet again. Um, and I'm renovating it for five roommates this time. So I was thinking, you know, young people, probably students or young professionals who wanted to live in the city but couldn't afford their own place. So they all sort of came together, found some people that they got along with and decided to rent this place together. So we're getting started here on the kitchen. Um, it's just right here by the front door in this little nook area. And whenever I renovate this particular apartment, I always, always, always turn this little nook into a bathroom. But I was like intentionally trying to switch it up. Like I was making an effort to not do what I usually do here. And so I was thinking like, what can I put in this nook that isn't a bathroom? And the only thing I could think of was a kitchen. So I went ahead and tried it and I think it turned out actually pretty nice. It's like a decently sized kitchen. Um, it's not huge, which I feel like is realistic for like young people renting a place it's not always like you know you take what you can afford it's not always amazing um, but yeah I went with these tiles that are sort of pinky sort of purpley they're from parenthood and I think they are so so pretty they sort of set the tone for the rest of the apartment which is very very colorful you'll see as we keep going that there's a lot a lot of color but um, one other thing that I think is worth mentioning is the window in this kitchen, sort of to the left of the oven. It's a floor to ceiling window. And I don't think you're meant to put a counter in front of it. I mean, it's a little weird to have a counter like right in front of a window, if you know what I mean, like not, like it's not above the counter, it's like literally directly behind the counter. Um, and normally if I was going to do something like this, I would go in with the tool mod delete that window and put a window that wouldn't clip with the counter but um today i didn't really want to do custom windows for this apartment i wanted to keep the existing ones because when you go in with the tool mod and you customize all your windows if someone downloads the apartment off of the gallery then they'll have like double windows like the existing ones and the ones that you added so it ends up looking really weird and then they have to go in with the tool mod and delete the existing windows and it's just like a whole hassle for them so i wanted this to be like user friendly so i decided that i would limit myself to the existing windows and i would just sort of work around them so that's why there's like an imperfection here and there but i made sure that each bedroom had at least one window and uh yeah i think it turned out pretty good and um, I guess that's it for the kitchen, but I did add a few details that I just absolutely loved. I added some dishes in the sink you might have seen with the tool mod. Don't worry, the sink is still completely functional. And I added a little whiteboard, um, little like planning area. I think it came from university, either university or parenthood, but I just thought maybe one of these roommates is really into planning and organizing and so they've put that up there and they like want everyone to put their schedules down on it or something. I think it's funny um, roommate dynamics sometimes because like there's always one who's kind of like anal about everything and you know some who are more relaxed and I figure that at least the way I imagined it for the sims that live in this apartment that you know they're all different some of them are more organized some of them are more relaxed but they all really get along and value each other and accept their differences and stuff i mean you could switch it up you could make them all hate each other like i think that would be fun you move like five sims in here who just absolutely detest one another or um Getting a little bit off topic here, going on a bit of a tangent, but have you guys seen the most recent uh, trailer that came out? It's for Growing Together, it's the gameplay trailer. As I'm recording this, it came out yesterday, and um, they were talking about how they're adding new stuff to the game where people are like compatible, or sims are like compatible or not compatible, depending on their likes and dislikes. So like, maybe you could move five sims in here that all have different likes and dislikes and they're kind of like incompatible but you try to like make it work anyway. I feel like that could be a fun gameplay story. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about that? I, 
I'm a little wary of the compatibility stuff that they're adding to The Sims. It seems like a really cool idea, but for me, I would just say given their track record in the last like year with like the wedding pack and like a bunch of glitches that have come out and never been fixed, I just feel like this is a great opportunity for everything to go wrong. Like I think it's great in theory, but I seriously doubt that it's gonna work out right. I don't know, maybe I'm just a pessimist, but that's kind of how I feel about it. Oh, do you guys want to hear my um, my Sims conspiracy theory that I've just come up with? You, I'll talk about the build soon, I promise, but like, listen to this conspiracy theory. You know how there was that glitch in the last like four or five months where Sims were just being mean to each other for no reason and like everyone was complaining about it and the Sims team kept like quote unquote fixing it, but it was never fixed? Well, I've been thinking what if that was just them working on the compatibility stuff? Like, what if that was them putting the compatibility stuff into the game early? So, like, when your sim is really mean to someone for no reason, it's really because you guys have, like, such different likes and dislikes that you can't even possibly get along. And, like, they couldn't really, like, everyone's complaining, like, why is this happening? But they couldn't say why it was really happening because they hadn't announced the compatibility features yet. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Anyway, I just totally made this up the other day. Like, I have no sources. This is just my wild imagination. And like, I'm not a conspiracy theory girly in real life. Um, I believe the earth is round, for instance. Um, I'm not like into all those conspiracy theories, but in The Sims, I have a few. So let me know if you wanna hear my other ones. <laughs> anyway, while I was on that rant, we finished decorating the first bedroom, which I think is one of my favorites. It's like kind of like pink and purpley and really pale and cute. And now we are moving on into this bathroom that I think turns out really, really nice despite being a weird sort of shape. I was able to even squeeze laundry in here, so I was kind of proud of myself. You've got a shower tub combo toilet sink, the washer dryer, and a hamper, and then this teeny tiny cute little sink from, uh, from Tiny Living, yes. <laughs> and I don't know, I just really like the way that this bathroom turned out. I paired the same tiling from the kitchen with a gray sort of tile floor, and I feel like they match really, really well because the wainscoting at the bottom of the tile is like gray, and it really goes with the gray tile. You, I think you understand what I'm saying. And then I also added like a gray um, medicine cabinet above the toilet. So it's a lot of like pinks, purples, and grays and whites in the bathroom. And I think it's really, really cute. Anyway, we are moving on into the second bedroom here. Again, a sort of funny shape, but I think that adds a bit of character. Um, and I did a weird thing in here that should not have worked, but I really, really liked it. And I am hesitant to like explain it and say how much I like it in case you guys are gonna be like, wow, you're actually an idiot that you think it looks cute, but it actually looks really stupid, but I'm gonna go for it. The bed is like blue and plaid. And so to match it, I added a blue bean bag, which makes sense, but I also added a plaid bean bag, which is like not blue at all. It's just like black and gray. And for some reason, I feel like those two bean bags together match the bed really really well and i don't know if i'm just going crazy like i don't think that those things should match and i don't think they should go together but to me they really really do so let me know how you feel about the bed and beanbag combo because i'm honestly not sure if i'm a genius or an idiot right now but anyway very cute bedroom now we are moving on upstairs to the first bedroom up here this one has a bit of a yellow color scheme. I go with these yellow beds from Dream Home Decorator that have always been one of my favorites since they came out, but I just haven't used them recently for some reason. And uh, yeah, I went with those yellows and then towards the end of decorating this bedroom, I was like, I should add some blues as well. So there ends up being like a bit of blue as well. Um, but I combined two single beds rather than using a double bed. I don't know, just to switch it up. Um, it's functional on both sides so your sim can sleep on either side. I play tested it um, and I imagine that this sim would be an artist. I feel like that's like 
if you're gonna have five bedrooms, one of your Sims is gonna end up being an artist just because we have so many art decorations in The Sims that I feel like it was bound to happen that at least one of these Sims personality traits was art. Um, but yeah, of course I added an easel. I add a bunch of canvases in a minute to really drive home the idea that this is an artist. And then right now, as you can see, I am struggling very much with the tool mod. I'm trying to place a mirror in the corner, sort of like leaning against the corner of the room, um, which it doesn't snap that way. So I had to go in with the tool mod and rotate it a bunch to make it work. But um, I did, I did make it work and I'm very proud of myself. I think it turned out really cute. So anyway, just tooting my horn a little bit there. I'm a genius with the tool mod. Um, if you couldn't tell, that's sarcasm. I am very much a beginner with the tool mod. Like, I don't know. It's I've gotten a lot better, you know, over the months that I've had it to sort of like understand how it works. But it's honestly, it's such a big mod with so many features that I feel like you can always keep learning like more cool things you can do with it. So I feel like I'm always going to be a beginner, if that makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> adding some sketches and now I'm adding those hints of blue um, with the rug and I changed the mirror to a blue swatch as well. You also may have noticed that I added a very big closet space. Um, I made it three tiles wide, although the um, closets that came with Get Together are two tiles wide, so it had to like overlap. The two closets had to overlap, if that makes sense. So just a heads up, that is not functional. Um, I didn't play test it. I just sort of assumed that it wouldn't be functional. So yeah, if you really need a functional closet, go ahead and delete one of them and then it should be totally fine. But I just thought it looked better like that. I don't know. Anyway, moving on to this next bedroom, which actually happens to be my favorite. I think this one is really, really simple. Like the only color you really have is this really pretty teal turquoisey color and everything else is just like cream, white, very simple. I feel like the vibes are very, very calm in this room and that might be why I like it so much. But anyway, we're kind of coming to the end of this build. We have one bedroom left. Um, so I'll just mention this is up on the gallery. It is in two parts. You have to download the downstairs and the upstairs if you want to get this full apartment. For some reason, when I renovate this apartment, always one of the floors has way more downloads than the other and I'm like guys what are you doing like are you only playing in half of the apartment like do not guys please you have to download both parts anyway so just know if you want to download this you do have to download both parts they're both on the gallery just search the hashtag Alicia Sims and you should be able to find it no problem um and yeah, I also know a lot of you just like to watch the videos, so that's cool too. That's like, I've never downloaded a build that I've seen in a speed build. I just like watch them and I think they're so fun to watch, but I am really not a gameplay girly. Anyway, this is the last bedroom. I sort of built it around this very colorful bed. And then at the end, I sort of bail and switch it back to a very neutral swatch. So this room ends up being very neutral, but I think it's really cute. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like and I'll see you next time. Bye!